and he can successfully hit a one-timer, which has been a problem for Islanders on the power play. I mean, not only can he actually connect, but it's a bullet, and it's, yeah. and it's going on net, and it's a beautiful thing. And if this is something that can become consistent, it's very exciting because you have that question answered. You don't have to look outside anymore. You, you have it from within. And not only that, you got the guy in his first year of an ELC. Mm-hmm. Cheap money, baby. Mm-hmm. That means you don't have to move the roster around, maybe lose a guy you don't want to lose, a la Devin, Devon Taves not too long ago. Mm-hmm. You don't have to make all these different moves to try to bring somebody else. Whether it, My point is is that this might be the Islanders answering their own own question here, and they could put the focus somewhere else, whether it's getting a depth defenseman for the for the run. They may not have to really supplement this team if this is a guy who can start munching more minutes up as a forward, start putting in more points. He looks fantastic next to Pajot, who's also been playing phenomenal.